number nine? Yeah, probably St. Goots. Or maybe the Kerouac. I don't know. For me, it was, uh, it was uh, Grimaldi. Ooh, had to have been uh, the garlic beer. The garlic beer? Oh, without question, it's the garlic beer. <laughs> In my time here, the St. Goots, but I think the garlic beer, which predated my time a little bit, is probably the strangest we've ever made. Ah. There are people who say this was, this was Night of the Living Dead. I had this brilliant idea. <laughs> we were, you know, I love garlic and I love pizza. So I figured we'll make a garlic beer. We used garlic in the boil. And then as if that wasn't enough, we decided, we came up with a brilliant idea to put a fresh clove of garlic in every single bottle. Well, the beer was utterly disgusting. It was good for absolutely no purpose that I can think of. Yeah, yeah. I resisted. I think everyone resisted. I think I resisted to the point that Alan somehow persuaded Todd to, to go forward with it. It was horrific. It was undrinkable. Um, we sent out the first load of probably 20 cases to a local account. And um, we started getting phone calls that same day. Um, it's all kind of a blur to me. I think I've, I've blocked the whole garlic beer thing just out of my mind. We kept a pallet here at the brewery and we used to make bets a lot. If you had a bet with somebody and you lost it, you had to chug a Night of the Living Dead garlic beer. And uh, there's a lot of Red Sox fans, Yankee fans here. So during baseball season, we were making bets left and right. A uh, one Mr. John Ravel, the man, the myth, the legend, was able to drink four one time after the Red Sox had a crushing loss to the New York Yankees.